BD or what's good, what's poppin'? How you, you good? That's what's up. So, today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I'm not sure how much chit chat I'm really gonna do. It's gonna be a get ready with me though. Um, I'm getting ready for work at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys a soft, simple, glam kind of what I usually do when I'm going to work. Um, the makeup that I do and my hair is actually out now so I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to wear my hair today whatever the case may be um, I have been doing this look for a couple of days now and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it so I decided that I was going to just record a video for it and post it on my channel so without further ado we're going to get right into the video but before we do that make sure you, that you are subscribed to me make sure your notification bell is on make sure that you like comment and subscribe <laughs> like make sure that you do all of that um so that you don't miss any videos um i'm gonna have a lot of content coming this year so you guys stay tuned baby yeah all right um let's get into the makeup now all right let's do it so first things first we're gonna start off with concealing our brows to conceal my brows i'm using ColourPop's no filter concealers in the shades deep dark 54 and deep dark 56 mix those two together and i have my perfect under brow concealer shade so next we're just going to blend out the concealer under our brows and then i'm going to set my concealer under my brows with black opal setting powder the loose finishing powder and i think dark um, I'm just going to use a beauty blender to set that um, the concealer under my brows. Right after the concealer is blended, I'm going to jump in and use my foundation. The foundation I'm using is Fenty. Is the Pro, is Fenty's Pro Filter um, foundation in 470. I love and stand for this foundation, okay? This foundation is like freaking life-changing. It's legendary, okay? I get the most and the when I say the most like the most compliments on my skin when I'm wearing Fenty foundation it is everything if you haven't tried Fenty anything yet like if you haven't tried anything Rihanna has put out on her makeup line her makeup collection whatever something is wrong and you need help So next I'm just going to go in with my concealer again in Deep Dark 56 and I'm going to conceal under my eyes again. Um, yeah. Oh no, I don't think this is Deep Dark 56. I think this is 54. This is the lighter concealer shade that I use to like brighten. Yeah, that's the concealer it is. It's 54, not 56. So yeah, we're just going to apply that and blend it out under our eyes and, you know, on our nose, our forehead to brighten anything up. 
you know, just give you that nice highlighted look. So right here, we're just going to set anywhere that we put that um, brightening concealer, the concealer that's like the lighter shade. I use my Fenty um, Loose Powder and Hazelnut to set everywhere that I put that concealer color. Um, yeah, I really do like the Fenty Powder as well. I stand by Rihanna's products. I swear to God, I need to get my hands on some of her concealers and some of the matchsticks, but like really and truly... Fenty is everything, okay? If you're a melanin girl, if, if you're a regular girl, if you're a, it don't matter what color you are, Rihanna's line is everything, okay? Like, you guys really need to try it if you haven't already because I was asleep, clearly. <laughs> Moving right along for blush, I'm going to use these two shades in the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. Um, just the pink and the purple, I mix them two together and I get my blush color. Um, I've been really into blush lately, so yeah, just going to blush it up, baby. <laughs> final step for my base makeup is highlighting so um to highlight i'm using i can't remember what i'm using but it's a drugstore palette it's i think i don't remember <laughs> but i'm using the highlight shade in that palette i'm gonna show it to you guys in a second i end up picking it up and like showing it to the camera so you're gonna see Always remember that the most important part of getting your face to be flawless and you know nice and airbrushed and whatever the case may be is to always go back and blend over every step that you do concealer blend foundation blend highlight blend like every step that you do with your face make sure you're going over it again and blending it out these last couple of steps you guys see me do is me just, you know, doing finishing touches. I put a little um, color on the inner corners of my eyes. I had did my lashes already. Um, I think I'm going to do my moles, spray my face with um, some Morphe setting spray, and I did my lip combo. If you do not get this close to a mirror to do your 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 mascara, baby girl, you did it wrong. <laughs> Robin.
of breath. I just finished putting my clothes on because I literally have to leave out the house like in the next couple of minutes. Um, but this is the finished look. Um, I just put, I don't know if I recorded this part, but I just put some blue shimmery eyeshadow in my inner corner. I highlighted and um, then my lips, on my lips is the NYX lingerie, NYX lingerie lipstick in lace detail. And then I have one fancy gloss on top of it. So that's what it looks like that. I actually really like this lip combo. I think it's really cute. I'm actually just gonna put a little bit more gloss on because I'm about to look out the door. Um, yeah, this is a finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see in the near future. What kind of videos you guys want to see from me. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching. Make sure you are subscribed because like we don't play those games. Like you better be subscribed by the end of the video. If you made it all the way to the end, you better subscribe. Period. Period. No. All right. I'll see y'all in my next one. Thank you guys.